Hey everybody, uh, welcome to uh, Wildlife World Photographers channel. Uh, my name is Yetmir from Škodra, Albania. And in today's talk, I have invited Kalin uh, from Sofia, Bulgaria, to discuss with us his amazing trip he recently had in Kenya. African trips are always intriguing for us uh, wildlife photographers and uh, photos uh, Kalim uh, shared on his social media uh, while there indeed sparked interest uh, to all of us. Uh, so here we are. Uh, we'll uh, take it from day one to the last day. So uh, you can get an insider's understanding of this uh, Kenya trip from Kalim's perspective. Uh, without further ado, uh, let's begin by asking uh, Kalin, uh, to, uh, very briefly, uh, to tell us how he got started with uh, wildlife photography and how he ended up in Kenya in the first place. Okay, uh, thank you for having me, Yetmer, and thank you for the invitation. I started with wildlife photography a uh, long time ago, I think probably 20 years now. Uh, it was a natural thing because I always uh, like to be out in the nature. I always li I've always liked uh, animals and uh, just observing, watching, and it just uh, smoothly went to to wildlife photography. Probably most people who who do this thing uh, uh, went the same way. So naturally, for everyone who loves animals, uh, going to Africa is uh, a dream. Uh, you know, I I wanted to go for quite some time. My first trip there was in Kenya back in uh, 2011. Then I really, really liked it. It was not that uh, photography oriented. It was more like a vacation, like a holiday. But then uh, I, I really liked it and Africa was always on my mind. Whenever I, I was thinking of going on vacation, the first option was always Africa. So I managed to go there back in 2014. Uh, and then uh, I was there last year. And uh, now is my uh, was my longest uh, safari uh, for, for, all my, for all my travels. This was the longest one. I mean, uh, staying at one place and just uh, doing photography in that one place. Because um, usually, what we do is uh, we go to, let's say, to, to Masai Mara, uh, spend there a couple of days. Then we go to Lake Nakuru and then Lake Naivasha and, Lake, um, and then go to Mbuseli. That's, that's the usual trip or, or some other place if, if people are going to other places. And uh, uh, for me, it was like when I first, uh, uh, when I start to realize uh, what is happening and what are the best places, and what do I want to, to achieve as a photographer? As a photographer, um, uh, I, I, as soon as I realize this, uh, it's time to go to the, to another place. So uh, it is. Uh, I I just uh, didn't. It, did, it just didn't feel right. Uh, I have the ideas of, of photos and pictures, and we have to leave. So uh, we decided to to go on just at one place and stay there for for the whole for the whole period. And it was really like this in 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 my last trip to Kenya this year. Uh, I started knowing what I want to do um, after the third day. Uh, before that, I, I just wanted to take picture of everything because uh, it, everything looks new, amazing, interesting. And uh, in my the first couple of days or three days, I I returned with uh, maybe four thousand pictures every day. Uh, for example. Uh, at my previous uh, trip to to uh, Tanzania, I had 4,000 pictures for the whole trip. Now I was uh, every day I, I I got this amount of photos. So, but uh, when when the days passed and I I really wanted to to uh, I, I realized what I want to do and what pictures I need. Uh, I, I I not I need but uh, what pictures uh, I have in mind to 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 take and to to make. Um, I started uh, taking less photos, but more uh, closer to, to what I really want to uh, to achieve. So uh, this is the reason that we stayed 10 days in Kenya. Uh, the other things that kept me there were, uh, first of all, our guide, 
He was an amazing, uh, amazing guy. Uh, he uh, knew about photography. So he knew what light we need. He knew what position we need. He knew what background we need and uh, what perspective, everything. And, and every time uh, we were at some sighting with a lot of cars or with, with a couple of cars, we were at the best place. All the time, I just I was looking at the other cars with the other photographers, and I was thinking, "Oh my God, I'm at the best spot. Uh, mm -hmm. I, uh, I I have the light, I have the background, I have the subject looking at me, everything." So uh, this was the the most important thing for me. And then uh, we had, had a specially designed vehicle, which you, you see in some of the pictures. I so I maybe maybe why don't we uh, mm -hmm. start sharing the pictures that you sent me? And then yeah. you'll get you'll get an opportunity to talk about this while we also see it. I think that's great. Thank you. This is a mm -hmm. great start. Okay. Very yeah. exciting. And it's really that that look of a person that it's been there for more than one time. Definitely you need to mm -hmm. be there more than one or two times to just to really start to craft the reasons why you're going, where you're going, who you need to take, you know, that so it you know, everything you're saying is just really uh Hitting a home run mm -hmm. with respect mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. the questions that wildlife photographers have. So I'll share the pictures and then we'll take okay. it step by step. Okay. Okay. All right. So here we are uh, on the first picture. You can take it away and then you can tell me how to move forward. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I just I did I I put this picture because this is me and Nelly. Uh, we went there together. Uh, She's very supportive uh, uh, for, 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 for my photography things. Uh, she suffered a lot because it was very, very exhausting. Uh, it was nice. It was great. But it was very exhausting. Every day we had to wake up at 5.30. Actually, not wake up at 5.30 in the morning. Leave at 5.30 in the morning. Yeah. Um, and uh, then spend uh, five or six hours in the car, go back, have lunch, and then leave again. So... Uh, this is like a thank you for for her for uh, being so patient with me and uh, helping me to 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 go there and share share this experience with her. Uh, so this was us. Uh, I think it's one of the first couple of days. I'm not sure which day exactly, but this is us in our car. And uh, in the picture below, uh, you see me in the car taking uh, taking photos. Uh, the car yes. was uh, was designed for for low angle. The the thing that we always look for when we so take our important. pictures. So important. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so I could lie down uh, and uh, just um, take the photos I want. Uh, they have the the perspective and everything. And it was a bit. I, I'm tall, like two meters almost. So uh, it was a bit narrow and uh, uncomfortable but everything was worth it you know mm -hmm. uh, i yeah I, sometimes my legs were uh, going through through the other window That's... in the back <laughs> but yeah uh, you you have to do it when you want to 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 to, to have the picture that's in your mind that's bad. That's bad. so the the two the two most important things for me was the vehicle and the guide and i i think the the guide is the first the first and the best thing that you can you can have on a safari is a good guide who knows what you need and who can place you where where you need uh, sometimes uh, he even sees the place and the lights long before i did mm. Mm. so this is uh, this is it's a picture uh, probably a breakfast spot somewhere in the savannah we had regular breakfasts there and we were just observing and enjoying the, the time uh, th this this these uh, experiences and and this uh, breakfasts and uh, lunches there were i think as exciting as uh, the picture the, the photography because you're just sitting in a place surrounded by animals and uh, just just enjoying That's it fantastic and i and i really do uh, love the car uh, when we went there with our buddies, uh, the car was different, but I can I can see this car at how well you can shoot from the window. The window is mm -hmm. open. By the way, did you have chargers in the car also by any chance? Or? Yes, yes, we had chargers, but I really never never did. You needed. never you never needed. It. Yeah. Yeah, I usually spend one battery per day. Okay. Uh, I'm okay. I'm shooting with a Z9. Uh, it has sure. a large battery. Right, and... has the grip, oh, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes, and uh, it's 
I, I just needed one battery per day, and uh, I I left it. I leave it at uh, at the camp uh, during the day to to recharge, and then I just uh, swap batteries every other day. By the way, were you always a Nikon user, or you you also used other? Yes. You, no, you no. Were... I started. I started with Nikon. I don't know why. It just it was just the brand that. Uh, okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I was not that experienced. It was the brand that I I bought first, and then I started building up on it. And I I'm familiar with the the buttons, the menus, everything. So sure. I I don't need to to switch to <laughs> to another brand. That's right. Yeah, and I see that more and more. I I don't know. It's just my impression that is a this is a very high number of Nikon users. Uh, recently, now that I've been doing this interviews, I'm getting to know more people. Uh, and, it, and it's interesting. And I think with the lenses becoming lighter, becoming, you know, uh, versatile, it, it, it's it's really giving uh, a very nice perspective. So should we move well, on the second? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Uh, uh, my point of view is that all the cameras, all the brands from the same class, they have uh, equal equal uh, capabilities. Sure. Uh, they, have, they have small differences. And I don't think they, they're that meaningful for getting the picture that you want. I absolutely agree. With new technology, an amazing time to live in and experience mm -hmm. that. Absolutely. So yeah. Here we are on another day. Uh -huh. uh, actually, still yeah, day, day one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's Sorry. still day one. Uh, it's still day one. This is uh, a sunset. Uh, this is. Uh, I just wanted to show uh, sometimes how you had to to uh, position yourself in the car. My back was always bruised. Uh, from all because I usually didn't go to the seat. I just uh, stayed there while, while we were traveling, and uh, I had a lot of bruises. But I guess totally worth it. <laughs> and it's very nice to see these pictures because you also can see the different ways that you can shoot in this type of car, yeah. which is an yeah, amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, opportunity uh, when it comes to the chances that mm -hmm. you gained uh, with respect to getting the results that you want. So that's fantastic. yeah, exactly. And and we didn't have any we didn't have any windows at the car, so uh, you can easily move from from one window to the other. That's you perfect. don't need to 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 pull the windows down or to nothing. You could you could just go wherever you want. Beautiful shot here. And this is thank you, thank you. And this is uh, giraffe. This is exactly for this is actually the first afternoon because we arrived at noon. Mm -hmm. They met us at the airport. Uh, at the airstrip. It's, not an airport, it's just a, an airstrip in the Mara. And this is our first day. I was just getting familiar with the guide, with the car, with the option, different sure. options. And this is a giraffe I, I took just to, to, to check. Uh, I took other pictures, but I think this is this is the... Uh, actually, I didn't have enough time to, to go through all the pictures. I right, just, you I mentioned just, it, yes. <laughs> yeah, I was, I, was, I was looking at them at day one, for example, I see one picture, oh, this is okay, I will process it. And then there might be better pictures. I haven't had a chance to, to look at them. Right, right. You did mention that uh, you recently came and we understand that, yeah? I mean, you have so many yeah. photos. You did mention that each, each day also you photograph quite a bit. So it takes yes. a while to actually process yeah. this. Though. I hope, I really hope there are some good pictures because yeah, my rough sure estimation are. is that uh, I had like 20,000 pictures for the whole period. And I really hope I will have like five wow. or six pictures that I, I hear really, you. really, really like. I hope so. Um, uh, so, oh, yeah. I'm sure you will. Uh, some pictures that you send that others will see in a little bit. They will see in some some amazing shots as well. So I'm, I'm sure that. So here Thank it is, you. another amazing. Mm -hmm. This is our second day. This yep. is our second day. Actually, it is our first morning there. Ah, uh, this is I, a, okay. This is this is our first morning. Uh, we woke up at uh, five, yeah, probably five, and then we left at five thirty. And uh, uh, the reason is this: you have to be there as early as possible in order to 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 go for the sunrise. Because okay, you have the plains, you have the the background, you have right. the the sunrise. You need the animal. That's yeah? right. And uh, you have to look for something that uh, you could. You could capture uh, and then hope that the animal will move in a way that will compose the picture and uh, you, you can good you can get a good one this is uh, with with a very very wide angle lens I, I mean I think it's 24 millimeters okay. uh, the lens it's not it's not the long one 
uh, I used from 25, 24 millimeters. I have uh, 12 to 24 millimeters. I use uh, the 200 to the 70 to 200, and then I use a 300 millimeter with uh, teleconverters. Most of the time, I was at 400 millimeters with the long lens. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so this this giraffe. Uh, I'm sorry. Good sorry. Enough let's, to... oh, it's all right. It's all back. right. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. It's good enough to to pose for us to walk around, so we could go. We could get uh, closer. It came closer. Uh, and it it was just a nice colors and a good composition with uh, uh, with the giraffe and the trees and the clouds. The colors and everything. Yeah. All right. So yeah, 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 yeah. Should we move on the next one? The, yep. Yeah, the the lion below the uh, lion below it was a, a little bit later than the giraffe. Uh, we saw the pride of lions. They were on the move. This is a young male. There were several young uh, lions and two adult lionesses. Uh, and the good things, the good things that to, to be er, the good thing to be early there is that most of the animals are active already, and uh, you you could have some action. Usually, when you see lions, they are sleeping. Uh, probably someone will lift their head up for a while and then just go back to sleep. And these guys in the morning were really active. They were moving from one place to another. They were looking at each other. They were roaring a bit. So it was very interesting. And uh, as it was my first morning, I just didn't know what to do. Take photos or observe them and enjoy <laughs> them. It's like, OK, I'll look look at them for a while. Then I'll take some pictures. And, but they were they were really, really nice. And uh, they were really close. They came closer to us. They were not afraid from of the car, just passed by us. And uh, again, our guide positioned us in a very, very nice place to have mm -hmm. this uh, nice backlight uh, to just to 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 add some mood to the to the picture. So yeah, it's, and, it's and as huh? as you mentioned, uh, there is a true joy to to also just observe them. So oh, it's yeah, a, it's yeah, a very good yeah. point that you bring. It's, it's like. Sometimes just putting the camera down and just being part of the yeah, just picture. be there because just be there, right? yeah, yeah. Right. Because Very sometimes prepared. when I when I take pictures when I focus on the on the photos uh, after uh, at the end of the day I'm like what did what did that happen I didn't <laughs> see it I just have these things through my through my viewfinder at the image and now with these mirrorless cameras it's just a display. No, no, on the DSLR, you could look through the lens and you still still see the thing. But now you see it on the display, like on on TV. And if you don't uh, put some time to just observe and enjoy, it's just. Uh, okay. Let's and, uh, see the next uh, one. Uh, yeah, the lion was quite cooperative. Beautiful. He was going around, uh, looking around, looking at the other lions. They were behind us, so uh, he was uh, just. Sometimes looking at us, it, it seems that he's looking at us. Actually, he's looking at the lines behind us. But mm -hmm. uh, when you have the, the this low position and when you have uh, the lion in front of you, it's 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 great. It's just it's like the lion is looking at you, uh, at you, and uh, you can you can see the eyes and everything. It's it was it was amazing experience. Such an advantage to have a POV from the car. That just just that. You know, just to mm -hmm. get lower a little bit, such mm -hmm. an advantage, big difference. I can yeah. say that because uh, having using another car, I can I can make the difference. You know, having you mm -hmm. to, to to see you lay down, or for us that like, we were just sitting up and then and then photographing through the window, it's like there is a big difference, right? In mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. in, uh, in height, uh, the shooting height. So it's yeah. amazing you can see it. All right, here's an again again. Beautiful. He's really posing. He's posing. I, I took a really a lot of photos of him. Uh, I just uh, when when I was going through the, the, through the pictures, I just found this uh, this sequence, and they were they, nice. I, I enjoyed the light, and I just decided to to process uh, several of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and and as I told you, they were very active, which was fun to 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 watch, and they they just give options for for photography. Here goes another one. Nice. Yeah, this one is nice as well. The the light is a bit higher now mm -hmm. uh, be, because yeah, uh, yeah the, the 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 it's not a bad thing. But uh, unlike here at our at our latitude, uh, we have maybe 
an hour or so to, to enjoy this golden light. Uh, uh, down there, the, the equator, uh, it gets higher and higher so fast that you just, uh, you have probably half an hour with, with really nice golden light and then it's just up and high and getting harsher and harsher. Right, so right, you have to right. be fast, you have to be fast. And that's why we, we were, uh, we were probably at 10 o'clock, uh, we were on our way back to, to the camp. We That's spent right. the, spent lunch at, at the camp, uh, just relax a bit and then go back for, for the lower light. Very yeah, good, yes, very, very good. Makes sense, makes perfect sense. Ah, here it is, day three. This is our day three and our second Good. morning. Uh, it was a very, very interesting situation because there were several lionesses. I think they are from the same pride that uh, the, the the pictures uh, from. Uh, I think they were the the toppy pride, and they they it's it's a very big pride. I think more than twenty animals, and mm -hmm. uh, they are usually split in several groups. So one of the groups was looking for the other, and this th uh, the, our second morning on the third day. Uh, we uh, managed to to bump into the uh, adult lionesses looking for for the others. They were very active. They was they were always looking around, and uh, wherever there was higher like elevated place, they they went there just to to have a better vintage point. And uh, we took advantage of that and tried to position ourselves in a way that uh, we got these nice silhouettes and. Uh, nothing in the background, just the sky and the, the 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 great light from the rising sun. Yes, yeah, so as as I see this picture, uh, it reminds me of a trip we just came from Hungary. We photograph birds, and uh, it, like usually in Europe, you photograph birds. Of course, mm -hmm. if you go to specific places, we don't also, have lions. <laughs> we don't have lions, so it is a complex exactly. So what I'm trying to say is that. It's not. It's nothing. Uh, re uh, nothing can resemble this experience being in front of mm -hmm. such a moment, and you bring mm -hmm. that very well. You know, you bring this very well from uh, this picture. Thank Beautiful. you. Thank you. So ah, yeah, again, plain, plain. Uh, this yes, this was a lioness with a cup. Uh, oh. they just bumped into each other. Uh, this lioness with the, uh, with the cup to with the other animals, with the other lioness, lionesses from the pride. Right. Uh, they just spend a little time together and then the lioness and the cup just moved away and uh, uh, just went some near some bushes to, to relax and uh, they just played with each other. The, the lion cup was alone, there were no other cups, so uh, he was playing with his mom, which was a lot of fun for us. Uh, we again just try to to position well for the light and for the background and um, enjoy them. They they the cup was really naughty. He was always trying to to uh, get the attention of his mom. She was sometimes just leaving him and uh, looking around maybe for danger. I don't know. And then she just continued playing with him. But it was a nice a nice experience. Great 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 place and time to be just to to be there and observe them. Uh, okay, which one is the Let's next one? Next one. Uh, yeah, that's the same moment, I think. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. The same moment. I just yeah. uh, again, I saw a nice sequence and processed a couple of photos to uh, yes. just to Indeed. to to enjoy them. You know, just to to right. remember the 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 event and the the place and everything. And they were so relaxed. Just uh, and and again, we were. I think maybe the only car or maybe an, one ah, other car at, so the, at the place yeah uh, it's you know the the mara is so big i i just i cannot compare it with anything here in europe mm -hmm. and it's and it's it's so big it's so huge one of the days we uh, we took a whole day just to to just travel around and uh it was huge and i cannot imagine what serengeti looks like which is Quite bigger than the Mara. <laughs> very cool. Yeah, very nice. Very mm -hmm. nice uh, moments. Very, very nice. To yeah, the, the, the moment was great. Yes. And they, they were just playing with each other. Right. So no. to get to see this live and witness this in person. Yeah. How far? How far are you from from the animal? This is the full picture. There's no crop. Wow. So, okay, so and it's it's taken with a four four hundred millimeters. Right. I don't know. Probably. 
four or five meters. I, yes. I don't know. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, you know, yeah. when when I would share that with friends that we were so close to wild animals, they they will they would not believe it. But the truth of the matter is that for most time the animals ignore you, right? Is that yeah. They ignore yeah. you like I don't know how it's they they are not bothered. If they at least they look like they're not bothered. But they Yeah, uh, we 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 had we had one day there was a herd of elephants. It was just coming towards us, and we stopped the car and waited for them. And they just come to came to us, encircled us, and then went around. And it was they were so close that wow. I could touch them. Now there was a male lion by our car, really, really close. If I just uh, put my hand out of the car, I could just touch it. Of course, wow. you have you, you you don't have you do you must not do that. You, you just right. uh, have to respect right. the animals and right. and and you, because you're at their territory, so. Uh, you, and, and they are wild animals. You cannot just hug them or pet them. Yeah. So you get you get uh, to hear these nice stories. Not only photographic side of it, but you get to hear these nice stories also. From, yeah, so it's, very nice. <laughs> it's 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 a great experience. Even yeah. if you are not a photographer, actually yeah. most people there are not photographers. They're just right. tourists in, enjoying. Uh, mm -hmm. There there are there were a lot of photographers, but the majority were just. Just normal regular people I, I don't mean that the photographers are not normal but are not regular but they, right. they were they were just regular tourists but yeah i was and also i was amazed to see a lot of families with kids yeah uh yeah. and then as i was discussed uh, as i discussed with one of the family is that their approach was to expose them early to what's what's mm -hmm. important in life and nature mm -hmm. and i think to do mm -hmm. that in Kenya and in Masai Mara, for example, and other places yeah. as, as such, it's a great way to do it. That's good. Yeah, can you imagine? Ah, I, right. Yeah, this they were playing again. Uh, I, uh, uh, what it would have been like if, if when I was a kid, I was able to, to, to go there because when I was a kid, I, I really uh, enjoyed animals as much as I do now or even mm -hmm. more. Uh, and if I was able to to go to the Masai Mara at that age, that would have been great and amazing for for someone. Absolutely, mm -hmm. but I must say, uh, it is my opinion. I'm not sure if that's a fact, but it feels like it is. That Bulgarians are are like wanderers, travelers. Uh, I, uh, for example, you've been like you said that you've been there in 2011 the first time. Maybe there were folks who were even there before that. But from the photographic perspective, the Albanian team was just like a year ago, right? I'm, I'm talking mm -hmm. about from the photographers, maybe mm -hmm. I, I like individuals just struggling, maybe they are a lot of people. But I really like that you guys are, you know, you, you, you wander out. And I remember having also an interview with a, with a guy, uh, his name uh, right now skipped my mind. The guy who went to uh to Colombia and that's and that kind of like inspired me to also go. So I'm planning to go there in February 2000 next year. Uh, but and then he went to Colombia and then just kept traveling south. And I'm like, yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I loved I love the story that he shared. But it just well, it is my know. opinion. Yeah. I don't know if that's about Bulgarians. Probably it depends on a lot of a lot of things like okay, uh, yeah. money. It mainly depends on money. You know, it's for me. Absolutely, yeah. money is the 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 only problem. I'm not afraid of traveling. I really enjoy it. I like it. Just have to 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 find time and money to to do yes, it. Yes, yes, and that's as years go by, these moments become ever ending. You know, like they become memorable. Oh, they become of very, course, and then it's and it's amazing. So. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, so you can see. All right, so yeah, we get into As it. This okay. is a little hyena. We yeah. passed by a hyena then. It was uh, actually quite late in the morning now. The sun, that's why I did it in black and white because the mm -hmm. sun is a bit higher than I enjoyed and the background was quite busy. Sure. But it was a, a nice a nice event again. We passed by a hyena then. There were several pups with uh, a couple of adults. And they were really fun to watch. They were just uh, playing with each other, fighting, and making those hyena noises that uh, you probably heard. And if uh, for for everyone who's been to Africa, uh, there's uh, the sounds and the smells you remember. I think more than you remember the, the pictures. So the hyena noises. Um, we were in the camp uh, in the in the park. So every night we heard the hyenas, the wildebeest, the zebras. It was amazing. When I wake up at two o'clock in the morning, I just hear the sounds and it's like 
going back to sleep really, really happy. We can go to day four, I think. Yeah, day four, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, day four, this is a dig dig. I don't know if you had the chance to see them in, in uh, when in at, at your trip. I have and I photographed one. I was very, okay. <laughs> very yeah. lucky, yeah. <laughs> they, were, they were quite common. Uh, you know, we had okay. this uh, uh, the, this uh, thing to, to find a leopard and uh, mm -hmm. they share the same habitat. Okay. So uh, we were trying to find a leopard and we found, unfortunately, a lot of dig digs. We nice. <laughs> didn't find any leopard, but uh, they were also cute. They're nice just to, to, to look them there. They look funny uh, with that little noise and mm -hmm. they're probably the size of European rabbits. Uh, which is amazing for an antelope, but it's just a small, small, small animal and they're, they're really cute. So uh, I try to take pictures uh, whenever I had a good option. Yep. And uh, they, they are very shy as well. So they just, when you stop by them. And this is uh, one of our funnier encounters. We uh, encounters uh, encountered a troop of baboons. Mm. by the Talek River. Actually, uh, you know, uh, with photographers in the in the Mara especially, when you see a car driving fast at, to, at some direction, you always know that there is something interesting there. So we saw a car, we followed them, and uh, they went to a pride of lions with maybe another 20 cars. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had this, uh, we had this uh, agreement between us that whenever there is more than three or four cars will just leave the animals alone because they are afraid, you know, they're disturbed. They're not afraid, but they're disturbed for sure. Mm -hmm. So uh, we decided to stay with the baboons for a while. We enjoyed their company. They were really funny making, and, and there were a lot of animals, maybe 30 or 40, 40 animals, just some, some of them on the ground, others on the trees. So we decided to, to skip the lions. The last were maybe two or three hundred uh, meters away away from from this place with the baboons. We were just checking regularly at the cars if they just lay, left, but there were some leaving and others coming, and uh, we decided to to skip uh, the lions, stayed a little while with the baboons, and then just decided to to go looking for something else. And you know, uh, we we because uh, once one of the encounters was. Uh, we saw a hyena running in early in the morning, and we mm. decided that there's something interesting because if she's if if she's running at some place, there there must be something. We hoped for a cue, and uh, we followed the hyena, and then all of a sudden we saw many other hyenas coming from different directions, going at the same spot. There was not a cue. There was some quarrel between other hyenas, but. From nice. any direction, you could see hyenas running towards the, the place, and it was the same with the photographers. So we, uh, and the tourists. So we, we <laughs> called them. We called up the photography hyenas because whenever uh, there was something interesting, you look around and you see all those cars going at that place yeah. uh, uh, in a hurry. Uh, so we decided that we will not follow this uh, this pattern, and uh, we will just try to do to do our own stuff. And oh. usually we were awarded uh, with with another sighting, which was better, and which were uh, and, 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 and and at which we were the only car there. Uh, there were no other people, just us enjoying, relaxing, staying with the animal. You will see after a couple of pictures what happened after we left the baboons and and uh, the pride of lions with the cars around them. Yeah, this is a very, very young baboon, probably a week or so old. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. This is the father that is holding it. Uh, mm -hmm. it. And uh, beside the father is, is the mother. Okay, it was yeah. quite, quite an interesting situation. It seemed like the father didn't know what to do with it. He was just holding it like this uh, <laughs> until the, the, the young one just uh, tried to, to reach his mother and just went there. So it was a funny situation. There were a lot of a lot of animals, and the the thing is that the 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 male baboon was protecting the the mother and the and the baby. Uh, when other baboons came, uh, he just uh, chased them away. Uh, but uh, handling the baby, it it was like a funny thing, like a new a new father just no, not knowing what to do with this thing that is moving and it's so fragile, just just holding it like this. <laughs> And, oh. and after and after oh. we left, we were uh, rewarded with uh, this cheetah, 
perfect light, perfect moment. The cheetah was active. We were the only car there. And it, it was it was amazing. We just stayed and, and waited for the cheetah to, to do something, to decide where, where she wants to go. Um, she was just moving from mount to mount, trying to, to find something. And we all, all we need to do was just to, to place uh, ourselves to have a good background and have a good position and just enjoy it. And it was so relaxed. This was later in the evening. The sun was, set, was setting. Mm -hmm. it, it was an amazing moment. And, and, and we were thankful that we decided to, to leave the, the busy place with the lions and just go somewhere else. Yeah, very nice backlit image, by the way. Just an inspiring It was image. amazing. Thank you. It was amazing. The place was amazing. We had these dark uh, bushes in the background. Mm -hmm. We had the cheetah. We had the light. So I just had to click, you know, the yeah. button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, okay. And yes. she's on the move awesome. here. Yeah, yeah, that's a beautiful image. Absolutely. She's, yeah, she's great. I'm, I'm very I'm very grateful okay. to to yeah. be able to see her. And you moved to the morning of day five. We had this yeah. elephant. Um, a couple, of, uh, three or four elephant, and then uh, several adults. And this is the last one who was uh, trying to to catch up uh, with them. Uh, this is the the low the low angle that uh, the the car like this could could give you to. Mm -hmm. To, to achieve such a photo. Unfortunately, the trunk is close to the ground, so I just really wanted to have it uh, a bit higher, but oh, it's okay. okay. Like, yeah. yeah. Nice. It is okay, and you, you can see the grass, and, and this is our, oh, no, no, it's all right, all right. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. This is this is our hippo morning. We went yeah. to, to, to the Talek River again in the morning. Uh, there is a hippo place. There are a lot of, lo of rocks in the river so you can just exit the car go on the rocks and lie down there and have this really water level uh, mm. photos with the hippos the guides are watching over just to to warn you if there might be any troubles but right. the hippo were not interested in us they were just more interested in themselves they were chasing each other, just uh, fighting for territory so we, we had uh, re a, a nice option to to, to, to take some photos there and with the water and the dark background and uh, uh, the, the the sun in the in the background in the back it was it was an amazing moment I almost see a, a style emerging here in this photo set that you are the, the backlit is very present to your style I, well, I don't know if you're I, taking a turn or <laughs> I really I really love it you know yeah. uh, it it adds dimension to the photo. It mm -hmm. adds moods, and uh, if you manage to 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 take the things right, you could really have uh, a, a nice nice photo with with a lot of mood and a lot of interesting light. Otherwise, uh, it for me at least, if if it's front lit, it looks a bit flat. I I usually like to have the light in the back or on the side. It it adds it, it really adds the adds dimension and mood to to the photo. Yeah, thank you for sharing that because uh, you don't it doesn't come naturally to think that way when you photograph. You just want that well, sun in behind it and that's it. But it's, it's well, a, yeah, it's, it's easier. It's the easier. It's the easier option. But uh, it it it's it, it at least for me it doesn't look that interesting or that uh, let's say that that moody or i i prefer the the bat lit the bat backlit photos yep, 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 yep. and and you can see you can see on the oh. other ones you can see the the mist going up uh, if you don't have the light at the back you, you won't be able to see this this mist uh, mm -hmm. in the background just an and yeah they're just enjoying the morning relaxing mm -hmm. there let's see some of the others oh this yeah, these hippos, they're spraying, just trying to, to uh, probably trying to, to secure their territory or the place that they, they had in the, in the river. High level the, work, the other, level. very nice. High level is great. And this was really nice. I, I didn't have any, any experiences like this before, just to be able to uh, lie down and with the hippos. And uh, usually you take them from above some reach or from, from above the car. 
but here you, you just lie on the rocks and you're really at a high level uh, with them. And uh, I guess this ends the, our day fifth. Yeah, and it's just this, a beautiful day. Yeah, it was great. It was a great day. It was a great morning actually because I probably have some some from the afternoon, but I didn't didn't go sure. through, through them. Uh, and then on day six, it was I think uh, our best uh, morning. Uh, mm. for for silhouettes and uh, and uh, and a sun a rising sun uh, we had some clouds in the sky and when the sun was rising it it was really like the sky was on fire mm. you just had to find unfortunately yeah. i i couldn't find animals that uh, that i wanted I, I i really wanted to have a giraffe or, or an elephant or something yeah. bigger for for this background but you have to it's nature you have to deal with uh, yes. with what's there yes. <laughs> uh, and th it's also a reason to go another time you know to go back there so sure. we didn't we didn't have uh, I, I don't have elephants in this background so i have to go back there and just try to to have them but i really like this this ones as well so uh, it was worth it very nice uh, and uh, <laughs> this was a warthog that we bumped in. It had really, really uh, big tusks. It's like a mustache there. That's why. <laughs> it's, uh, that's why I took the pictures because it was really funny to 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 look at him. And actually, after we left him, we bumped into this male lion on the second picture, on the next picture. Uh, no, the other one, the the one above it. Uh, sorry about that. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it was great again. We were the only car again. The lion was looking for something, probably a female or his pride, and we were not sure. We don't know, but he was constantly on the move. So what we had to do is just see where it is going and try to position ourselves there and just hope that he won't change direction. He was a really big, big guy, and uh, the, the light was a bit higher than than I would love it. But mm -hmm. you can see here, I just uh, this is uh, front front side light. It's not it's not really a front light. It's not a back light, but still, I put it a bit on the side just just to 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 add some dimension on and some shadows on the on the right side of the lion. That's beautiful. To get a male yeah. lion as such uh, with a with a crest and everything, it's just amazing. Yeah. We, could, we 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 weren't lucky to see this uh, in our in our trip. They are, uh, some of them, they looked uh, uh, the, like this one was really huge with, with, yeah. with great mane and uh, with a, a huge animal. We saw, we saw some others which were a bit smaller with uh, smaller manes and mm -hmm. they didn't look that impressive, although a lion, a male lion is always impressive, but uh, sure. they, they didn't look a lot like this. Uh, the next one, yeah, this one is is uh, a smaller one younger the main. Right. Yeah. yeah i'm not i don't know if it's younger or no okay but it was mm -hmm. it was it was not that heavy and not not that big as the other one okay and the, the main the main was smaller i don't know but here i really like the the light this is on our mm -hmm. six, day six uh, at the evening mm -hmm. the sun was was setting i love those so I, here. yeah yeah, I, that's nice. what, what I laughed as well. So I decided to to take picture of of the lion with the, with the the backlight and everything. Not yeah. a perfect picture, but still nice, nice, nice background and nice light for for this animal. And then day on our seven. seventh day, uh -huh. we went to to the Musiara Marsh in the Mara River. Uh, Unfortunately, it was cloudy. It was not. Uh, it was not uh, um, a sunny day. We had this diffused light. This is. Uh, I say unfortunately because uh, this this lion with nicer light it could have been great. This was the 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 most beautiful lion we saw on uh, our trip there, mm -hmm. uh, with with really nice black mane. He was huge, very big, uh, very expressive. Uh, you know, he just. It was it was a great animal. Uh, they were uh, uh, a lot a lot of they were a pride probably they call them the marsh pride. Mm -hmm. uh, I think five or six animals. The the male was uh, a little bit behind them. The others were were trying to hunt a hippo. We saw oh, wow. uh, yeah we saw a couple of lionesses on the back of a hippo and uh, trying to to uh, put him down it it's happened very fast but the hippo was smart enough to go into the water so they just uh, had to leave 
and I can't imagine what would have what would it would have been like uh, if they tried uh, if they managed to to bring to bring down a hippo and uh, just uh, we, we couldn't see such an event but it was still nice just to it was for 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 a few seconds just uh, when I was uh, taking pictures of this male lion uh, Nelly just uh, called from the back set uh, look they're trying to to take the hippo down and i just uh, turned around and uh, saw them on the back of the hippo and the hippo running in the water <laughs> amazing it was an amazing amazing experience and look at this guy which is wow. uh, when you're just huge. lying down and it's he's huge he looks powerful his name is half tail because half of his tail is missing Ah, uh, if okay. yeah, if you look at the pictures, you, you usually will see a tail going back, but uh, yes. there is no, there is none. Yeah, how how That's the great. tail is 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 missing. But he was a beautiful animal anyway. So yeah, you, if you just uh, just see him, it's it's great, amazing, amazing. And when he's coming towards you, it's Ooh. yeah, and oh, nice. it was it was uh, it. Actually, Actually, a bit later, they moved into the marsh, so we couldn't follow them. We had to find another place, and it was starting to rain. And mm -hmm. with a car like ours, uh, where we don't we don't have any windows, we had to just look for uh, for a place that uh, for some shelter. We looked for we we actually went to the forest where this is where the next picture with the with the elephants is taken. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we were really close to this. He was a big animal as well, very, very big tusker. Uh, our guide said that he's probably uh, 30 years old. So mm -hmm. when he reaches 50 or hopefully 60, uh, his tusks will be even bigger. Mm -hmm. And he will be really, really, really a nice elephant like those in the Ambuseli uh, with the big yeah. tusks. Uh, so here I... I tried to uh, to take the picture with the rain. I'm not sure if you mm -hmm. can see it with the see, yeah mm -hmm. yeah on a video. Probably you can see it on your on your screen. I'm not sure that's gonna be. Uh, so I tried to I tried to capture the mood. Um, actually, if there was backlight again, if, if the, the the image was backlit, you could really see the the raindrops and uh, you could have really a nice mood in the photo. But unfortunately, it was a cloudy day. So it was just this diffused light. Yeah. What an amazing had, yeah. trip. So I'm going to stop the share here. And well, uh, this is this is our day seven where yes, uh, uh, this is where I reached now. So I had I have some more days to go through right, and uh, right. see see what what kind of photos okay. I, what, now, what, what other photos that I have. I wanted to ask you uh, what would uh, what would did you notice any difference uh, of uh, visiting uh, that part of the world in different seasons? Because I understand you also been in uh, January, I think you were last year, if I'm not mistaken. I was in February last year. February, the, the yeah, sure. previous time was February again. It depends on where you are. I What I wanted to have is uh, a green background. I mean, uh, I wanted to go there when it's green and I wanted to go there when there are not that many people because usually the wet season is not that busy. So this is why I chose this thing. If you go in August when it's the dry season, you could see the, the migration and the, the wildebeest and the crossings and everything, right. but you also see a lot of people and I just didn't want to right. uh, to see that. Yeah, I, I, just, I prefer... Uh, th this is why I chose this season. This is uh, why we chose to go in February in Kenya, the, uh, in Tanzania last year, because right. it was the low season. The, yes, it's harder to see the animals. The grass is taller. Uh, the lions are hiding and, uh, and and everything. But it makes it harder for for photography. But if you if you do the, the things right, you could have as good photog photograph photos as uh, when you are in the in the dry season and then you have less cars on your way uh, and you have different photos because uh, most people go in the dry season and they have uh, similar photos now when you're when you're at a time that is uh, not that busy and not that many people go you have something different it's amazing uh, that uh, the more you go the more perspective you gain the more knowledge oh. you have and then it's like I'm just learning so much by you sharing all of Of course, of course. And uh, and uh, if you ask me, the longer you stay, uh, the, the longer period you stay, it also helps. Uh, I could have stayed there for a month if I, if I could wow. do that. And uh, then I think that I will take probably 
20 or 30 pictures per day, but they would they will be really the pictures that I want to take. And at the places I would probably go look for for this big lion again and again and again every morning, just until I find him in the best light, in the best yeah. position. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, so this is what uh, makes you go back there again. Well, Kalin, this has been great. Thank you so much for taking the time to share Thank your you, experience. Yes, and uh, uh, it was an eye opener, right? Again, to, uh, we are tr you. I'm trying to put something together for next March. I'm trying to think of like taking my daughter even, you know, to, to start to introduce my daughter into this. This, amazing. This, will, this will be great for her. I think if she enjoys animals, she will love it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, with that said, uh, thank you so much. And until next thank time, friend. Until next time, enjoy your, your day.